In this video, we'll see how to create a shortcut of any file, folder or application using a method. Now, why do we need a shortcut? Creating a shortcut will save your time and it will be easy for you to navigate to particular application, file or folder. Let us see that. Suppose I want to navigate to one folder that is let's say IBM folder. What are the steps I have to do? Please see here. First step is I have to open this file explorer. Then I have to go to this PC. In this PC, I have to go to let's say C drive. Remember three steps already done. And if I want to go to this IBM setup file, there are total four steps which I have to use. Again, let's try again. I'll just click on this close button. I want to go to IBM setup file. Step one, click on this file explorer. Step two, this PC. Step three, C drive. Step four, I have to click on this IBM setup file. So total four steps to reach to this particular folder. I'll give you shortcut method how you can bring it to that place just by one click. So I'll just go back to this place. What I will do is I'll first create a shortcut of this IBM setup file here and I'll cut paste on the desktop. First I'll create a shortcut of this file. How do I create it? I can just right click on this place. IBM setup file and if you see there's an option as create shortcut right click on the file and click on this create shortcut so once I click on create shortcut and it says windows can't create a shortcut here do you want to uh, do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop in instead so I'll say yes I want to paste on the desktop do you want to uh, uh, do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead I'll say yes yes now, if you observe IBM setup file, that is the shortcut pasted on the desktop. I'll just close this file. And now if I show you this one, IBM setup files. Now remember the four steps which I took to reach to that folder. Now I have just one step, double click. So if I double click on this place, I'm already into that folder. So if you see this PC, Windows C, IBM setup file, I'm already into that folder. So it will save lot of time to reach to that particular folder, right? So I'll just click on this close button. That was one method, easy method. I'll, ju I'll just show you a second method to reach to that particular file. Both methods are there. Whichever you find it's easy, you can use it. I'll delete this shortcut first. I can right click on this folder shortcut and I can say as delete, okay? Now the second method. If you want to create a shortcut on desktop, and the main item is in some other folder. How do you create it? So please here, you just right click on the screen and then you can see as new, new and you have the option as shortcut. Right click new and shortcut. So it says I'm creating a new shortcut, but for which application? Can you guide me with the application? So here it says, what item would you like to create a shortcut for? Where is your item? So my item is in the C, uh, C drive itself in some other folder. So I can say type the location of the item. I am very bad into remembering the name of the location. I can just click on this browse button. Click on this browse. Now this is the folders. Browse for files or folders. But I remember it was into this PC. So I'll, I'll expand this PC here. Click on this PC. In this PC I had this Windows C drive. So I'll also expand this Windows C drive. In Windows C drive, I had this IBM setup file. So if you see IBM setup file, I'll select this IBM setup file and then I'll click on OK. So what you, what you have to do is, I'll just click on OK. So now that is the path of this C colon slash IBM setup file. If you remember the path, you can just directly type it. If not, you can use this method by using browse. And finally, I can just click on this next and uh, type the name for this shortcut. If you want, you can customize the name, IBM setup file. If you want, you can change it. Otherwise, I can just click on finish. Now, if you see carefully, now it is set as IBM setup file. The shortcut name is IBM setup file. All the four steps are reduced to one step. I'll just double click on this place. And if you see, I'm jumping again to the same folder that is IBM setup file and the same contents for that particular folder, right? So it's very easy. Uh, to create a shortcut it will save lot of time and avoid the confusions so remember most of the applications and the folders they have the shortcut created like we have the shortcut for this pc 
you can create for any application excel word calculator powerpoint anything all the applications right so i hope you have understood how to create shortcuts and what are the uses that's all for this video